UNC Charlotte recognized its 100,000th alumnus in May. Fabian Elliott, a marketing major from Fayetteville, was honored during commencement. Let's meet Fabian and hear more about his big plans for the future. May 12th, that, that's a day that will definitely go down in history just from start to finish. And I have to say it was a long day, but very fulfilling and rewarding. Since I was receiving that honor of being a 100,000th alum, I was uh, you know, treated like royalty for the most part. And it was just, it was really awesome to, you know, have my family be able to take part in the moment, uh, especially to give the commencement address. You know, that was uh, an amazing uh, honor, especially since, I, you know, I like to speak and I was able to, you know, give the greetings and represent my class. And no matter how much I like speaking, the highlight was definitely when I got the, when we did the, the, the ceremony for the 100th thousand, when I was about to walk on the stage, or, uh, the three o'clock ceremony, and they just halted the whole ceremony, and the announcer came on stage, and it was like, the moment you've been waiting for, drum roll please, there was an actual drum roll, and then, you know, they called my name, and then the streamers went up, confetti was everywhere, everybody was just cheering, it was, so it was a moment I'll definitely, you know, never forget. What really made me fully realize how big of an honor this is, this is and was is that this award would never be given out to anybody else. Elliot celebrated this milestone with two other graduates, Al Miller, a World War II Navy fighter pilot who graduated in the first class of 1950, and Gary Gummerson, a member of the class of 1965, the year Charlotte College became UNC Charlotte. Uh, initially, I met Gary first at the Charlotte Observer photo shoot that we did. And so I got to talk with him and he was really just schooling me as far as we were right outside of the Union and so he was just looking around talking about how none of this was here, all this was fields and telling me how there was just two buildings when he was there. Of course the architecture has just picked up beautifully and it's so impressive uh, on what they've done and not only that but what they've done with University City. I'm very proud of uh, my university and what it's become, and I uh, welcome the opportunity to do this. I got a chance to meet Al uh, during graduation day, and he talked a lot about you know how how small his class was, like the class size, and uh, how he, he talked very highly about you know Bonnie Cohn and her leadership. It's a great metamorphosis. No one ever really thought that back then. It would not have happened if it hadn't been for a woman woman like Bonnie Cohn. I couldn't help but, you know, think about what it would be like, you know, since they graduated maybe for about 40, 50 years ahead of me, what it would be like in the next 40, 50 years as far as how drastically uh, the campus would have changed. And I'll be talking about student union was built when I was here and different things like that. So the uh, future's bright. I'll be uh, starting in, uh, with Google in, in the Chicago office June 18th. And so, you know, I'm really excited about that. I'll be uh, working in my field as far as doing sales and marketing with them. The great thing about this university is the best, you know, while we've had great historic moments and the present is good now, the best days are still ahead of this university. 